Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Reducing the size of the legislature is being sold as a cost savings measure. But what are the real costs of such a policy? Let's look at the numbers. We're the second most expensive legislature behind California. California spends $337 million. We spend $307 million. And in third place, New York is at $190 million. Over $100 million between Pennsylvania and New York, between second and third place. When you break it down per capita, we're the third most expensive legislature. Alaska's number one, they have roughly 700,000 people. Rhode Island is second, they have roughly a million people. Pennsylvania with 12.7 million people. 12.7 million people. And we're at $24.08 per capita in our state government. It's out of whack. The main thrust of this legislation has been portrayed as a cost savings measure to make government more efficient and reform our institutions. Instead of reducing the size of our legislature, we are simply reducing the number of legislators and not addressing the true issue of the cost of the legislature, including our full-time or part-time status. Like Representative Lawrence, I also think we should be moving towards a system like New Hampshire with 400 part-time legislators that get paid $100 a year. $100 a year. If we want to talk about true cost savings, this is where we should be going. Well, I do not agree with the reduction in the size of the legislature, there is a distinct difference between that and the right of the people to determine the formation of the people's government. And today, although I have grave reservations and don't believe that the people should pass this, I will be voting for this piece of legislation so that the people can determine what their government should look like. I caution my colleagues as we move forward in the general public in turning this idea into a new formation of government. However, it's the right of the people to determine this.